Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here with the second in a series of videos covering my knife collection. Now the first video in this series was covering my Spyderco Sages. This video is going to cover the knives that I carry the most and I'll cover six different knives that I carry more than any others in my collection. There'll be a range of knife brands and but most of them will be familiar to you. So I can put all the knives in my collection into one of three categories as far as how I carry them. The first is represented by this knife right here. It's put out by Mastrop. It's a Ferrum Forge design and I love this knife. This is a recent purchase and when I purchase a knife I carry it for anywhere from two to four weeks before I review it because I want to have an excellent feel for it before I review it for y'all. And so those knives that are up for review get carried a lot, usually every day. The second category of knives that I carry are represented by this knife right here, this Hinder XM18. Uh, I love this knife, but to be honest, it doesn't get carried that much just simply because I have so many knives in my collection. Something usually triggers me to, to think of a knife, go in and get it, and when I do, like this one, I usually only carry it for a day or two So, because I have others to go into uh, and carry. Then there's a third category of knife and it's represented by this Victorinox Cadet. One thing that gives it away is there's always a little more wear on this category of knife. This one I've had a long time. I'll talk about it more in just a second. But another clue is that it lives on my dresser. So it's readily available. My most carried knives stay on my dresser. And so these are the knives that I carry when I'm not reviewing carrying a knife to review or when I'm not triggered to go in and pull out a knife out of my collection and carry it for a day or two. These are my go-to knives. And here they are, the six knives that I carry more than any other knives in my collection. These reside on my dresser top because I need access to them so often. I'll start with this one right here since you've already seen it, and this of course is my Victorinox Cadet. I bought this knife on the recommendation of Nut and Fancy ages ago when I first started watching knife YouTube reviews. I'm sure a lot of y'all did too. He has sold a ton of knives over the years. But I think I like this just because of its lightweight. It rides so easily in my pocket. Plus, it's got a unique set of tools, from the nail file to the pen knife for light duty task, the uh, cap lifter screwdriver, and also the uh, can opener screwdriver. Unique set of tools, the most carried knife of any knife in my collection. The second most carried knife is this one right here. A lot of you have this one, might have it in blue, but this is my Spyderco Delica VG10 steel holds a sharp edge for a long time. So I've probably only sharpened this knife maybe twice in the time that I've had it. You know, like I say, it needs a deep cleaning. One thing you'll notice is that the uh, it doesn't have a clip. This one rides in the bottom of my pocket, but I stripped the threads of this FRN when I was moving the clip around and I decided to just carry it in my pocket and not use a clip. It's a lockback design, it's easy to operate one-handed, great knife to play with, and a great knife for all kinds of daily tasks. Now one that you may not recognize, it's not as popular, not as common, but it's this one right here, and it's the only buck knife that I have in my collection. This is a buck mini Spitfire. This was a gift from That's Pap's Knife. Some of you may remember a year or so ago, he. He uh, sent me a basket of, of uh, goodies with a couple of knives. This was one of them. One was a coffee cup that you see on my channel a good bit. But this has sentimental value, but it also is just very fun to carry. So I like the look of it. I like the design. And it's a lock back, and I can carry it one-handed, operate it one-handed, and it's a nice knife to just play with as I'm walking for exercise at the dam or watching TV or whatever. Show you that green spacer in there. All right, so that is one I think 
that I carry for a lot for sentimental reasons, but it's also very useful. Okay, the second set over here are larger knives. I'm going to start with this one right here. This is a very popular knife that a lot of people have. It's got that purplish backspacer. This is the Benchmade 940. There's only one thing that's not standard on it or not original, and it's this pocket clip. And I regret uh, not keeping the old clip that was on it. So I sent this in. The spring, I used it so much that the spring of this access lock broke, so I sent it back to Benchmade to have that replaced. They did replace it promptly, sent it back to me. I requested that they send me a deep carry pocket clip, which they did, but they kept my original clip, which I wanted back. So that is a big regret. If I ever sold this knife, I'd want to put the original clip on it. So this knife operates fantastically. I didn't demonstrate it right then, but it does. One thing I did want to show you with this is that butterfly has the antenna. You see that? So one of my viewers in a video once pointed that out to me and said that made it a more valuable knife because that was the original design of the butterfly with the antenna. This knife is fantastic. I mean it operates as smoothly as any knife in my collection. It's a great size and just a very popular knife. Everybody loves the Benchmade 940 and in a lot of videos that I see people identify it as their favorite knife in their collection. Okay, I'll move over to this one. A lot of you have this one also. This was a recommendation by Nut and Fancy. It's a very minimalist design. It's the Kershaw Skyline. A lot of you have this one. It's not a fancy knife, but it's a fun knife because of the flipping action. And this is a knife I just love to flip. You know, it's very simple. It just has phosphor bronze washers. I bought a couple of these. And uh, this is the original one that I bought though. I have flipped it so much that that lock bar has moved over to the right about as far as it'll move. But it still works great, no problems. Takes a great edge even though it's not a fancy steel. Takes a great edge and holds it. And it's easy to sharpen so I can resharpen this one if it ever gets dull. And I've probably sharpened it three or four times over the time that I've had it. Okay, the last knife of this group is this one right here. <clears throat> you, I'm sure you probably have seen it. You may not have one. I don't know that it's that popular, but this is the Kershaw Emerson CQC 6K. This is a great size knife. So there was a whole series of Kershaw Emerson collaborations, but this is one that I felt was a perfect size for me. It's got everything that I need in one knife. And I think I did a video one time where I identified if I could only keep one knife that served both a tactical and EDC role, which knife would it be? And I identified this one as that one knife that I would keep in a pinch if I could only keep one. Because it can serve a tactical role with that Emerson wave feature, so you can carry it and use it in a pinch and um, for tactical purposes, but it also is just a great EDC sized knife. So I won't go on and on about this one. You can watch that video if you want to, but this is one that I tend to carry a lot just because it's so useful for multiple purposes. If I don't want to carry a, a purely tactical knife, but yet you know, I want to have that, that niche covered. That's a knife I can carry and not worry about it. So these are the six knives that I carry the most of all. Add these to the six Spyderco Sages that I reviewed in my first video, and the count is up to 12 as of now. Okay, I'll make another one of these videos, and I'll try to make it sooner than I've done with this second one. Y'all take care.